new storm team. Well, good evening. It is the day after. <laughs> wow, what a day that was yesterday. Uh, we have a live shot of Williston. It looks kind of peaceful, doesn't it? Let me show you some of the snow totals here. And I pulled this off the uh, chat room. We have the National Weather Service. Look at that. Two feet of snow uh, around Bismarck and Mandan. Oh, man. Steel, 22 inches. Two miles southwest of Lincoln, 19. Uh, the center of the uh, heaviest snow was kind of right over the top of Bismarck and Mandan. Uh, center in Hebron, 18 inches of snow. Uh, six miles south of Hazen, 16. Look at Dickinson, Harvey, Williston, Minot. Oh, we are talking a whole lot of snow. And that Minot, I don't even think is the official number. I think the official number is more like five, I think, uh, from what I could find. Uh, but there were some social media reports of 7.3, so that's what I put it on. And it's really hard to measure with all the wind and all the drifting and everything. It was a very, very difficult to, uh, to measure. So here's the latest NDDOT road report. Well, we are, I wouldn't say we're back to normal, but we don't have the no travel advised any longer. But look at all that dashed yellow down in the south central and, and western part of the state. Scattered ice still on the roads. Very, very slick. Uh, roads are considered seasonable up uh, in the north central right now and up in the northwest where there was less snow. So checking out our weather headlines, uh, later on tonight it should become mostly cloudy for at least most of us. Could be some patchy fog. Below zero temperatures, most of us are going to be dealing with that. It is going to be fairly cloudy tomorrow, maybe a little sunshine in the afternoon, but it doesn't matter because it is going to be cold and snow possible again uh, Sunday, Sunday night, and Monday. I will tell you right now, uh, if this is not a big storm. We're talking about the potential of maybe a quick one, two inches. Most of us will get even less than that, but there may be some spots here or there just with the way the uh, atmosphere is setting up to get a couple of inches of snow, but nothing like we went through yesterday. In Bismarck, 10 degrees, but it feels like zero, and it only took a six mile an hour wind to do that. In Minot, it's 15, that six mile an hour wind makes it feel like six degrees above. So here are other temperatures across western North Dakota and a lot of single digits here. Some of them even in the uh, below zero range already and it is going to be even colder than that tonight. Wind hasn't been very strong, which is a good thing when we have uh, these kind of temperatures because the wind chill really isn't crazy bad right now, but it is a little bit breezy around Williston and it's below zero air temperature in Williston. That little bit of a breeze makes it feel like 16 below in Williston. So there are places you really need to bundle up at. So here's our precision cast, 7 o'clock tonight, and uh, you can see that it is going to be fairly cloudy. And what uh, you may not notice on here, but there could be some patchy fog developing uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow. And then here we are at noon, fairly cloudy. It's entirely possible. Could be some breaks in the cloud tomorrow. Uh, and so that's why I didn't get rid of it. I left the QR code on here just so you can, uh, you know, scan it if you want with your cell phone because that way you can easily get the, uh, K the uh, NDDOT road report uh, on the KX app that you don't have to go to find your computer or anything like that. Uh, if you scan this, you'll be able to get the road report on our app very, very easily. So now here we are, Saturday night at midnight, tomorrow night at midnight maybe a little light snow. Again, this isn't terribly widespread. This is nothing like what we just went through. So next 72 hours for Dickinson will be very, very cold. Oh, cold in Williston as well. So low temperatures tonight and nearly all of us should be below zero. And then high temperatures tomorrow are going to be cold again. So here is a look at the uh, Bismarck seven-day outlook. And temperatures really don't rebound all the way through the next uh, seven days. I wish I could tell you, uh, Brooke and Nicholas, we're going to have a nice little warming trend and it would melt the snow. But you know what? With these kind of temperatures, that snow is going to be here for a while. We'll take what we can get. Thanks so much, Tom. <laughs> Coming up next, Dakota Bull Day is 